Hey everyone, I'm Landon Schlung and today we are doing the Markdown Previewer. This Markdown Previewer is pretty simple and it only is like 58 lines of code. So pretty simple and it passes seven of the eight tests. Uh, the one that doesn't pass is optional bonus. So I, and it's, I don't, I don't even really understand it. So, uh, so yeah, we don't need to do that one. And it looks something like this. When we type in Markdown, Markdown is a, a a language, I guess, or like a formatted type of way to write uh, documentation, where uh, one one pound sign in front of a piece of text is a H1 header, uh, and then two. This would be an H2. Three in front would be an H3. Then we can do back ticks for uh, some code. Um, that just gives it a different font. You can do triple back ticks for uh, uh, code block. You can do bold, which is two uh, stars in front, and then that makes bold. Or both if you do ita uh, underscores for italics. And then you can do uh, images. So right here, I uh, upload an image or grab the URL of this image, and then it displays. So, and then you can also do lists. Um, which is just a bunch of uh, dashes with different indentation levels. All right, so <laughs> most of this is just the default um, default markdown that we render here. <laughs> the whole app is just this little piece here, but we have to install one package to make that happen. We're going to be using just a, a simple beat create uh, React app type of deal we're not going to be using a cdn and without further ado i'll show you how to make this and this new window is going to be in a folder and folder is going to be my code folder and my tutorials fcc copy from let's make this bigger and let's also make the font bigger inside of my terminal i actually have to create this project because i haven't created it yet it's not on the on the side here so to create it, I'm going to do npm create v at latest. And also you're going to need Node.js installed and uh, npm. I think npm comes with Node.js. So as long as you have Node.js installed, you should be good to go. npm create v at latest, and then it'll ask me some questions. The project is going to be Markdown Previewer. Markdown Previewer. And then we're going to be using React and React TypeScript. And then we can uh, open up this folder uh, in VS Code. So let me do that. CC copy from Markdown Previewer, select that. So there is one package that we need to install to make this work. So just open up your terminal again. I did that with Control J. And do npm uh, i react preview. I think it's React Preview. Actually, it's React Markdown, not Preview. React Markdown. Yes, MPMI React Markdown. That's the one we need. This will actually parse our Markdown for us, so we don't have to do it ourselves, which would kind of suck. Not gonna lie. And this might take a while because I haven't MPM installed yet, so it's got to install all the React packages as well. And depending on your internet connection, it could take a while. All right, cool. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to be hosting this on Netlify, and then we can share the actual real live uh, site to Free Code Camp. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, now that we have that installed, we can do npm run dev. Oh, I spelled that wrong. npm run dev. And then it will open it up on localhost 5174. So if I control click onto this, this is our server project. It's just v plus react and a counter. It's what comes out of the box when you create an app with Vite. So we're going to do most of our coding in this app.tsx. And let's just get rid of everything inside of here. And also for our CSS, we're going to get rid of a lot of stuff. So we can do Control-P CSS, or you can just go to the sidebar and look at index.css or app.css. And index.css, we're going to get rid of the color scheme. We're going to keep the background color. Let's get rid of all this stuff and all of this stuff here. 
perfect. And then also for app.css, let's just get rid of all of this. All right, control all, control A, and then delete. And then I can save both files at once because I have a keyboard shortcut for that. <laughs> I actually changed it from the original. And now to save all my files, I do control alt plus S. Control plus alt plus S to save all my files at once. All right, now what do we want to do in this app.tsx? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to import React Markdown. So let's do that. Import React Markdown from React Markdown. Perfect. And then we actually need to have an editor and set the text of it to this use state. So let's do that. The Markdown text, I'm going to call it. So I did control D to select both of them. And then I can just type in markdown text, markdown text. And then the reason why this M is capitalized still is because of another extension that I have. I forget what it's called, but um, yeah, it's, it's an extension that keeps the case when you select multiple tech, pieces of text. All right, so what do we want to return? Well, we want to return, uh, first of all, a, a title type thing. So we're going to do div. And inside this div, we're going to have an h1. This h1 is going to have the markdown previewer. Previewer. And then I should also probably open this up on the side so that we can see the changes as they come in. So underneath here, we're going to have a div with a class name of boxes container. Container. All right, inside the boxes container, we're going to have a text area, text area. And then the name of this is going to be editor, editor, the ID is going to be editor, um, columns and rows, I guess we'll just keep. Actually, no, let's get rid of that. We don't need it. Instead, we're going to be styling it with our, with our CSS. Underneath the text editor, we're going to have a, a div with a, a ID of preview. So with Emmet, we can do div hashtag preview. If Emmet's not working, uh, you need the React Emmet extension. And then inside of the preview, we're going to have a React Markdown. And GitHub Copilot helps me with that. <laughs> Perfect. And it's yelling at me for some reason. Well, it's because maybe a zero was provided and needs some text. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So just make sure it's a string here. We should actually say that it's a type of string. So in TypeScript, you can do this. Um, so now basically we just need our default text and then our CSS. So let's actually do our CSS first. Or actually, no, let's put our, our default text in here. I'm actually just going to copy it over because uh, you can do whatever you want there. Just make sure it has all the stuff that it needs in order to pass the free code camp tests. Like it needs a, what does it need? It needs a header, a subheader, a link, inline code, code block, list item, block, quote, image, and bolded text. And then I just, I wrote that as a comment and let the GitHub Copilot go to work for me. Um, and then it generated this for me, which is nice. Like I didn't have to actually come up with that. And then inside the defaults, uh, I just need to put my default markdown and then that shows up. And that image is really big because I need to do a bunch of CSS to make it smaller. <laughs> okay. And nothing's showing up in here. And that is because we don't have a value on here. So yeah, we have to actually add a value <laughs> to our text area. Value is going to be the uh, markdown text value equals the markdown text. And then, yeah, there now it shows up, which is awesome. And then when we on change, when we change the text, we're going to set our markdown text to e.target.value. So e comes out of the on change, which is the event. And then if we grab that with e.target.value, save that. And now we can actually edit this. And it also shows up on the bottom right away. Perfect. Now let's do our CSS so that it actually like looks cooler as we do it. Right, the first thing we want is 
to grab our boxes container container and we want to have a display flex on here we're going to give the flex direction of column just for uh, smaller screens and then we're going to give it a margin of auto and we're going to give it a margin top of 40 pixels and we're going to give it a width of 90 percent save that all right now we're going to select our editor so hashtag editor to grab it by its id and then it's going to be a width of 100 percent we're going to give it a height of 80 view height 80 view heights and give it a font size of 18 pixels uh, background color of a hashtag 2f 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 and then we also want a resize of none so that we can't resize it it'll actually like get rid of that little thing in the corner we want color of white so we can see the text all right beautiful we want a padding of 10 pixels so that there's some padding around it we want an overflow of auto so that if it doesn't overflow we don't have the scroll bar so let me get rid of some of this and then you'll see what i mean and there it gets rid of the scroll bar because it's not long enough all right and then border radius of 20 pixels and then that just rounds off the edges and then we also need to grab this text and maybe make it a little bigger and we'll see how to do that here we'll grab it with hashtag preview awesome and it actually is doing all this for me which is awesome okay so if i save that that's what that looks like um this should be 100 percent width i'm not really sure why it's not with 100 percent margin top i need a margin top on here as well so that there's a little bit of space here margin top of 10 pixels font size is good background to color is good resize we don't need uh color white yeah adding 10 pixels overflow auto border radius 20. and then we also want to make images smaller so grab the image any image tag and give it a max width of 100 percent just so it doesn't get too big on us all right so if i refresh this our defaults will come back oh it's only the width of the text i see so if the width of the text is super big super big then it will take up the full width yeah interesting i did not know that um but i think it's probably fine and yeah there's our image now we need this h2 to be centered i'm really sure why it's not i have margin auto on here uh, but it's not on the box of containers so i actually have to go into app.tsx and change this style by itself and we're just going to give it a um, text align text align of center and make sure that's in quotes center there we go now it's in the center awesome all right so one last thing uh i need to add test suite and maybe change the change the title so it's not v plus react plus ts so to do that we have to go to index.html and we can change the title to markdown previewer markdown previewer and then we can add in the script tag to add the tests in the script tag is like this and you can grab this link from the free code camp site if i go into my projects down previewer you can see the where is the test library maybe they don't have it on here which is weird or it's at the bottom here it is so this is the link that you use you can copy this and paste it into the source and then it, and then it will work so that's that's where i got that and now we can see that this thing is showing up if we run the tests it should pass seven of them uh, markdown previewer on test you have seven of eight pass which is what i expect 
And one last thing, if I make this uh, screen bigger, you can see it's still like this, but I, I kind of want it to be in two lanes instead. So to do that, I'm just going to add a media query. So inside of app.css, we're going to go at media screen, at media screen, and the screen is going to have a min width of 768. We're going to make box container flex direction of row with 80%. That's awesome. Um, I don't have to change anything with the editor. I don't yeah, actually, yeah, I don't have to. But maybe it's good to make sure they have width of 50%. And let's save that, see what it looks like. If I make this larger. And they're, they're both in the two swim lanes. I actually see this is still down a little bit. I can get rid of that margin top. So inside the previewer, the margin uh, top of zero. And then that should go away when we make it bigger. And yeah, we can see that as right size now. All right, so that's it for this project. Now let's uh, try and host it. So to ho host it, we have to first put it on GitHub. And to put it on GitHub, we first have to go to GitHub and create a repo. So here's my profile. Follow me if, if you're not following me already. Uh, go to repos, create a new repo. At FCC Workdown Previewer, which I have available, which is awesome. Make it public, create a repo. All right, and then it tells us what to do. If you don't have Git installed, make sure to install Git SCM. It should be pretty straightforward. It looks like a pretty old website, but that is what you need. So, all right, so we have to do Git. Uh, git add all, git commits, and then git remote add origin. So I'm just going to copy this remote add origin piece and go back to my reviewer, open up the terminal, stop the project with control C, and then I can do npm or git remote add origin, but I don't think it will work because I have to do git init first. Yeah, it says it's not a git repository. So to make it a git repository, we do git init. And then initialize, and we get all these U's in here. Um, we can see how, how many uh, changes we have. If we open up the sidebar, we have 15 pending changes, which is great. And then I can do git um, add all, with git add dot, and then that will add it all. I can add a remote origin as well. And then another thing I can do is commit it. So git commit. Dash M, um, full project. That's what will show up on GitHub as the git uh, commit, as the commit message. All right, so there we committed it. Now I, all I have to do is push it. So git push, and it says I have to do git push setup stream origin main. I can actually just copy that and paste it as my next command, and then it will push up that code to. GitHub. All right, so now it should be on here. If I refresh, here's our code. Yay, it's on here. We have no description, but that's okay. Now to host it on Netlify, let's go to Netlify. And let's create a new project on here. So log in, sign up if you haven't already. Netlify is pretty easy to work with. I always log in with GitHub. And then it integrates with GitHub, so I can actually see all my repos in GitHub. So now let's go to what sites, add new sites, import an existing project, deploy from GitHub, authorize it. And then we can search up um, down and see what I have for Mark. Here it is, FCC Markdown Previewer, deploy the main branch, npm run build, and it's a dist published directory, which is, uh, I think, correct. And let's deploy this. It shouldn't take too long. It is super fast, actually. 
and we can actually click into here and see the deploy log. All right, starting up should be pretty quick. All right, npm package is installed. Complete, skipped, complete. And we can open up the production deploy. And here it is, beautiful. <laughs> I can run the test uh, from this um, URL. All right, so work down preview, run test, 7 of 8 pass, which is awesome. And it works exactly like it did before. If I delete some of this, then it gets rid of it over here. Looking pretty good. Now to change this uh, URL, I can actually do that inside of Netlify. So if I look at the site configuration and domain management, I can change this uh, subdomain. How do I do that? Edit site name. Here it is. And I'll just name it FCC uh, Markdown Preview Landon so that it's, you know, it's mine. And now when I go into this site, it's the same thing. It's just a different, uh, you know, different URL, which is epic, if you ask me. So now I can just take this URL and go into free code camp and put it in as my solution link and say we've completed it. All right, we completed the Markdown preview. Our next thing we are building is the drum machine. So stay tuned for that. I know the Markdown previewer was super simple and it didn't take that much code which is always a little surprising let's take a look at the code again yeah so this is the only markdown that we need or html so that we need jsx tsx <laughs> and most of it is actually just the default markdown yeah it's pretty simple if you ask me all right anyway thanks for watching and i will see you later peace out bye